We'll look at this circuit first. This is a positive clipper circuit and um, this diode is set up so that uh, when we have a positive voltage here and a negative voltage here, the positive voltage as it's increasing gets up to 0.7 volts. This diode here forward biases allows current to go through it and it gets up to 0.7 volts in forward biases. It limits the voltage at that point to 0.7 volts. Now, as this is positive and this is negative, um, we have a situation where uh, this diode is reverse bias. Okay, that reverse bias means that it's not going to allow current to flow. That current goes this way, this way, it's split up through RL and RS. So E RL is equal to E source. Um, You know, I'll get better at these drawing skills. <laughs> That's pathetic. Uh, VRL is ES over times RL over RL plus RS. Just a voltage divider. D is not in the circuit at this point. Um, something about the uh, rectifier diodes. Right there, right there. Um, they have too much capacitance in the PN junction, and they don't work well at high frequencies. Uh, circuits like this often are higher frequency circuits, and you don't use a rectifier diode like the 1N4004 uh, or that series of diode. Uh, there's too much capacitance in the PN junction. Um, but they are optimized for a um, rectifier. They don't they don't switch very fast. Um, uh, 